Howdy, I'm John. I'm going to talk about modernizing the Galaxy backend with uh, typing and dependency injection. Um, the work that we've been doing on the Galaxy backend working group over the last year. Um, a longer version of this video, the real version of this video, um, is linked there. This is just sort of a preview. Um, these slides are derived from the Galaxy architecture slides, part of the Galaxy training network. Um, the link is there. Uh, with the 2101 release of Galaxy, um, uh, we, we, we added MyPy static type checking um, to, to Galaxy. Um, thanks to the work of Nicola and others, um, we now have a Python 3 only, only um, code base, and the annotations are really nice in this syntax. Um, if you're developing Galaxy, um, you can use the talks there, the talks command listed there to, to run MyPy um, and, and do the checking. Well, there's links here to a nice blog post about why you add sort of types to Python code and a cheat sheet for using MyPy and, and, and doing typing at the and, and the typing module that sort of helps create useful annotation. Develop Galaxy's backend at all, you've come across this app component. It's a big object that we stick a bunch of various backend components onto. Um, it is a prime example of a god object. God object, according to Wikipedia, is an object that knows too much or does too much and is a code smell. Not only does the app know and do too much in Galaxy's case, it also is used too many places. Every interesting component, every controller, every web transaction has a reference to this app object. And it's a problem we've been working on and thinking about for years. Um, here's a very typical example of a Galaxy backend component um, that consumes app. Um, unlike a lot of other components, um, I was trying to de de decouple it from app. So I pulled off just what I needed from app in the constructor and, and the dataset collection manager doesn't have a reference to app. But it does still use app to construct all of its dependencies in various ways, and, and it does use the model and the security um, subcomponents of, of the uh, app, app object. In the longer version of this, I go through you know one typing scheme we could have used for app, um, and, and but I sort of will just skip uh, for expediency's sake to, to the structured app that we did land up using. Um, it's an interface, um, and, and we use this interface to sort of make the imports cleaner and try to get closer to a, a directed acyclic graph for the components of Galaxy's backend. Um, we can now sort of, with MyPy and, 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 and typing, we can now sort of say app is a structured app. Um, and, and we now have MyPy providing type checking inside of here, and the IDE can provide type hints, you know, app.model exists, um, the IDE can tell you that. Um, we're still constructing these dependencies um, directly, um, and, and this is unfortunate um, for a few different reasons. I'll just highlight one here, um, and, and that's, um, you know, we just want to use a history manager. We don't want to know how to construct a history manager, right? I mean, as we can see here, the different dependencies are constructed in different ways. Um, you, thinking about unit testing makes it really clear, you know, if I'm going to unit test this, I need to construct this app, right? And so what 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 components of app are necessary? Um, it's, the only way to really know that is to come in here and look at it. Um, and if I'm constructing you know, the history manager from inside of here, how do I stub that out from the outside? Uh, this is this is not a good setup for unit testing. Um, doing dependency injection where we actually send the dependencies that are needed for the object um, during construction uh, makes unit testing a lot better. And actually, if we look at it now, we're not using app anywhere in here. But we've got nice type signatures about what parts of app are needed. Um, yeah, this is a much better um, way to design the dataset collection manager. And in fact, we did make this change, and we're in the process of making this change to other components. Problem with that approach is that we've created complexity inside the constructor for complexity in calling the constructor. Now the thing that's initiating initializing the dataset collection manager needs to know what these six components are and how to build them. We use to address this is uh, type-based dependency injection. The idea here is that we have a container which keeps track of recipes for how to build objects of a given type. Um, and then when we need a dependency for an object, we can sort of recursively check the container for how to build that dependency. With this approach, constructing that dataset collection manager becomes as easy as saying, container, give me your dataset collection manager. Um, there's a few different libraries for doing this. Um, Lagom is a very modern one written to be pipe type 
written to be Python 3 um, native and, and type-based. In the longer version of this talk, I go through how dependency injection and types sort of make each other better. I go through how, um, you know, we, we were able to use dependency injection to unify um, the two kinds of controllers that we currently have in the in the Galaxy code base, and, and you know the newer fast API controllers and the older um, Galaxy framework controllers, and we're able to use dependency injection uniformly across every layer of the application, um, including the new Celery tasks, um, which leverage uh, the dependency injection. I also talk about you know deconstructing the Galaxy app object a little bit further. I don't have time for any of that. I'll just sort of give some final tips for designing Galaxy backend components. Consume only the related components that you need. Avoid app whenever possible. Annotate inputs to the component with Python types. Use interface types to shield consumers from implementation detail. And rely on Galaxy's dependency injection to construct the component and provide it to its consumers. Thanks.